source view if you want. So you click on the source tab and it'll show you a source view of the page um, or you can switch back to the design view of the page. Um, the other kind of really interesting editor we have is the activities editor. So if I created a file, let's say called hello.flow, um, it'll allow me to edit flow files. Now, um, flows or activities within Zero are uh, an additional module. They're a feature you can use if you want. In this application, I hadn't said that I wanted to use that. The tool is smart enough to detect um, that I hadn't added the flow dependencies to my application. So it asked me if I want to do that. I say yes. Um, it goes ahead and adds those in. And then it brings me up the flow editor. And the flow editor allows me to build um, an application, uh, either a feed or service uh, composition application, using a set of pre-built activities. So I can do things like, say, take two feeds like this. Like, let's say, CNN and Yahoo. I can aggregate them together. And let's say I want to sort them. Right, and then send that to the browser. I can kind of lay these activities out on the palette, and then I can just wire them together like this. And I now have a fully functional feed application. Of course, I'd have to set the properties. We'll skip that for now. Um, that allows me to um, create new services or whole applications by graphically um, wiring these things together. This has a source view as well, as well which is an XML um, script that, allow, that describes the flow of activities and how they wire together. So the file editor view provides access to a lot of really interesting capabilities for creating artifacts within Xero, uh, for editing them, uh, and for building out your application. And now that we have a few files, we can show a few features here. If I want to see all the files that start with hello, I can just do that. If I want to find all the files in the public folder, I can do that. Um, so the filter gives you a lot of really interesting ability to kind of narrow this list down. And you can see we're keeping the kind of recent file list here um, of all the files that you've recently edited. So that's the kind of main view within the IDE. A couple of the other views, there's a dependency view. This shows me the dependencies of my application. You can see here I have, I have core management web tools and now the flow dependency. I can add new dependencies to my application, which will go look at what's available on my local repository. So these are all the modules that I've downloaded uh, to my machine, and I can add those things into my application. So that's the main point of the dependencies activity. The explore activity shows me a directory structure view of my application. Um, by default, it shows me here's all the files in my application and how they're laid out. Normally, when you're editing, you don't care so much about all of this structure. Um, but sometimes you want to understand the structure you need to, to move things around. The Explore view is a great way to understand. Uh, the Explore view also shows you the dependencies or the files provided by the dependencies of your application. So for example, um, if I want to use Dojo, um, my application actually has a dependency already on Dojo. Um, so if I click Show Dependencies, um, this will now show me in the view all of the things that are actually accessible by my application. Because in Xero, um, the files that are accessible in your application are not only the files directly in your application, but the files provided by your dependencies. And they all get kind of merged together into a single logical view. Um, and so if you turn on show dependencies, you can see that. And so you can see now my public folder not only has these scripts that I created, but also has Dojo and the Dojo extensions. It has some Atom capability. So there's a bunch of, of, uh, of files that have been made available to my application. So the show dependencies view helps you see that. Um, and then the final activity uh, is the run activity. And the purpose of the run activity is to allow you to see logs. So you can see the standard out and error logs and the trace logs and build logs. Um, for your application. This has a kind of live tail capability. There's also a command prompt view that allows you to execute shell commands like zero commands directly through the IDE. Um, if I wanted to start this application up, I could just click run and it would go start the application for me um, and then pop up a browser window to the index page of my application uh, if I allowed pop-ups, um, which would show me my application up and running. Um, so that's kind of the basics of the IDE. I can go back here. Um, maybe the last thing I'll show you is bringing in a demo application. Um, so if I go copy from repository, uh, and let's say I wanted to load the employee demo application, I could say, create me a new app, copied from zero colon employee demo. 
hit copy. And this will create me my own copy of the employee demo application that I can run and edit and explore um, in the IDE. Takes it a second, it's got to pull down its dependencies, it'll open it up for me. And here we have all of the files that make up the employee demo. There's one main script here called employee.groovy. And here's all the code for that sample application. And you can go through here and you can look at the configuration of that app. Um, so that's another way that you can create samples and the like. Of course, this view has filtering as well. So if I just want to see a, a given application, I can filter out that application. There's also a narrow view that lets me just see the list of apps. So that's the basics. Um, the last feature uh, is the My Repository view. And the My Repository view gives me a view of everything that's available in my local repository and also gives me an ability to search the remote repository on projectzero.org and then download dependencies into my local repository. Also gives me the ability here to remove dependencies, things that I have in my local repository that I don't need anymore. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks a lot.